fellow YouTube, all right, this is it, the complete solution. Uh, if you see my other two videos on the particular solution um, and the special solution, well, this is like the culminating thing right now. This is the complete solution, which makes up the particular and the special solutions. Um, so, again, you've seen this formula in the previous two videos as well. Um, we looked at XP, the particular, and XN, the special solutions, and now we're going to look at XC, the complete solution, what, um, how it makes up those two parts, the particular and the special. So, how do we approach this? Well, we have our matrix and we have our B, right? So, the first thing we want to do, um, we'll just start with the row reduction. It's pretty easy. I, I encourage you all to pause the video and practice your row reduction. Um, but first, we're going to start with the particular solution since we have our B already. So, what you do to find the particular solution, all you do is augment A with B um, and continue on with your row reduction. So, after you row reduce, um, we're going to have to do another step here. So, we're going to add two t or we're going to add row two to row three um, and you should get um, this right here now if you notice in the black there I changed I divided by negative one to make it all the numbers positive and more easy or easier in the uh, matrix itself um, so I did that extra step just for um, simplicity for later on um, again that's just row reduction should be plain and simple um, now those two columns right there, those are free columns, and in them, in and of itself, are the free variables, x3 and x4, those are our free variables. Now, what we're going to want to do is set all our free variables equal to zero, um, but first let's write out the equations. Um, so, the matrix represents a system of equations, right, so write out the equations um, for those lines, and then zero equal to zero would be the last one, but no need to write that, but we have our equations now. Um, so once we uh, set all our free variables equal to 0, so we're going to make x3 equal 0 and x4 equal 0. So look at the second equation right now. You have x2 plus x3 plus 2x4 um, equals negative 1. If we set x3 and x4 equal to 0, well, we would just have x2 equals negative 1, right? Um, so then plug that into the first equation there at the top um, and simply solve for x1, and you should get x1 is equal to 4. Well, after, that's what we got after we set our free variables equal to zero, and that's how we find the particular solution. So, our particular solution, well, we have x1, we have x2, we just solve for those, and what did we do with x3 and x4? Well, we sent them equal to zero. Uh, so, we have four, negative one, uh, should probably be a negative. Uh, yeah, I'll hopefully, hopefully that's fixed in the other video. It actually might not. Oh, wait, is that right? Okay, that might be an error in the video. Keep that in mind. Um, I'll see if I can go back to fix it at the end. Okay, so now we need to find xn, because look, we found xp, right, there's xp, now we're going to find xn. So here's xn, um, we're going to look back at the um, system of equations that we figured out down here, once we look, have the matrix we're reduced, we're pulling out the equations, just what they normally do, but instead of, since it's not augmented with the particular anymore, we're going to set those equal to zero. Um, now, solve for x2 in this uh, portion. And then you're going to plug it back in x1, just like you would do, normally do in an any, you know, el first year algebra course when you have a system of equations um, and you want to substitute uh, your variables. You just do basic substitution here. Solve. Um, plug in the values here. You should get, um, you can follow my steps along here. I'm going to make this kind of quick because this is a long uh, subject to find the complete solution or long process. So then you should be able to get x1. Now we have x1 and x2. So, again, remember, x3 and x4 are free variables. Um, so, first let's see our template that we are going to create, kind of similar to what we did over here for our template here, um, for our special solutions. So, x1 is what? That's going to be the first spot there. That's negative x3 plus 2x4. Then our x2 was negative x3 minus 2x4. And remember, our free variables are just our free variables. So we're just going to list them there because they can be any arbitrary number that we want. Um, but in order to find a special solution for each column space, what we're going to do is we're going to set um, each free variable equal to 1, and then uh, the other free variables equal to 0. So set one free variable equal to 1, and the other to 0. So let's let x3 equal 1 first, and let x4 equal 0, the remaining free variables. So all you do is plug x3 into the template over there on the left, um, and then you'll have your special solution for the first column space, free column space, um, free column. So, our first special solution would be negative 1, uh, negative 1, 
and then 1, because that's what we let x3 equal, and 0. So again, just plug x3 into the template over there. Now we have, let's let x4 equal 1 and let x3 equal 0. So now we're just flipping them now. Um, so, same thing, we'll have plug in x4, so we get 2, minus 2, 0, because x3 is 0 now, and 1, which is what we need x4. So now we have our two special solutions. Okay, cool, we, we're, we're done. We have our particular solution, what we solve for here, and our special solutions. So let's put it all together now. So we have our complete solution, the particular, which is what we solved for here. Then we have our two special solutions, what we just solved for, um, and there you have it. We had our complete solution now. So it's a long process to do it, but it's actually quite you know satisfying once you get it done and you figure out what you what you did. Um, so this was the method on finding the complete solution in linear algebra. Hope it helped. Good luck and happy studying.